Do you want to protect your USB key with a password like this without using any additional third party tools just using Windows? If yes, keep on watching this video. To protect your USB key, you need to use BitLocker to go, which is a Windows 10 native tool. You need to have Windows 10 Professional, Windows 10 Enterprise, or Windows 10 Education. Here, you see that I have a Data Traveler 8GB USB key. It is now open, it's not encrypted, so it's not protected by a password. To protect it with a password, select it. Click on Drive Tools and in Drive Tools click on BitLocker and select Turn on BitLocker. The first step is you need to choose a password to protect your USB key or choose a smart card if you have a smart card enabled device. Here I will be using a password to protect this USB key. So check Use a password to unlock the drive. Enter a strong password and then click next. And here you have the option to back up your recovery key. And this is a very important step in case you forget the password so that you don't lose the information on the USB key. You should back up your recovery key. You have three options. You can save it to your Microsoft account. If you are logged in with a Microsoft account to the device, you can save it to a file or print the recovery key. For the purpose of this video, I'm going to show you how to save it to a file. So click save to file and it will prompt you to choose a location. Here I'm going to save it to my documents. So I click documents and I'm going to keep the file name as it is. So click on save. And now the recovery key is saved. In case you forget the password, you can use the recovery key to open the USB key. I'm gonna show you later how to do this. So now click on next. And here you have two options. You see that the first option is encrypt use disk space only now. And all the new files that you will add to the USB key will be automatically encrypted. This is the fastest option. And it's a recommended option unless you want also to encrypt the empty space on the USB key. And why this is important? It's important in case you have a USB key that had files on it and you deleted the files. So to prevent a hacker from trying to retrieve the deleted files, you choose this option. So now I'm going to choose only encrypt use disk space and click on next and here you have two options also you have an option saying that is compatible mode it means that if you use this USB key on devices other than Windows 10 like Linux devices or other older Windows PCs you can still put the password and access USB key or you want to choose a new encryption mode which is for devices accessed on Windows 10 version 15.11 or more. So I'm going to choose compatible because USB key I might use it on other devices. Click on next. And here simply click on start encrypting to start encrypting your USB key. It shouldn't take long. Of course, it depends on the volume of data that is already on the USB key. Once the encryption finished, click on close. And you see here now that you have a padlock on the USB key. It's open now because we are using the USB key on this drive. So I'm going to create a new folder just to test it. So I'm going to call it test encrypt press enter let me put any new file in this folder so i'm gonna put a new text document test encrypt text and press enter 
And here we created a new folder and we had also other files. So let me now remove the USB key from the drive. As you see, I removed it, it disappeared. If I put it back, now I need to enter the password to open the USB key. Now, because I have autoplay on that opens the USB key automatically, this is why I got this message. Simply ignore it. You see now the padlock is yellow. It's not open. So if I double click it, I have to enter the password to open it. And you see now that I can access everything on the USB key. Let me now show you, if you forgot the password, what you can do in order to access your USB key. So of course, we are going to use the recovery key that we created. So let me close this and let me remove the USB key and put it back again. And let me simulate here that I lost my password. So I click on more options and here it's telling me enter recovery key. So click on enter recovery key and open the file. This one that we created while encrypting the USB key. And this is a recovery key. Copy the recovery key. I'm gonna copy it. Gonna come back here. More options. Enter recovery key. And I'm gonna paste it here. And press on unlock. And you see the USB key is opened now. So it's very important to keep your recovery key in a safe place. Once the USB key is protected, you can manage the protection like this. You can right click on it and choose manage BitLocker. And then here you have many options. So the first option you have is to back up your recovery key change the password, remove the password completely, add smart card in case you want to use a smart card to authenticate to the USB key without a password, turn auto unlock on this computer and this is useful if you have a computer that you always use this USB key on so you just want to insert it and it will work without a password but be careful here because it defies a little bit the purpose of protecting a USB key with a password and you have the option to turn off BitLocker completely. So here I'm gonna show you how to turn off BitLocker in case you want to share the USB key with someone without giving them the password. So just click on turn off BitLocker and choose turn off BitLocker. And here it is decrypting as you see. It should be very fast and here the USB key is no longer encrypted with BitLocker and the padlock here it disappeared and it is freely accessible in the PC even if I remove it like this and I'm gonna insert it back I'm gonna show you how when I insert it it will not be locked and here it is appeared and it opened without a password I hope you enjoyed this video and found it useful. If you think this video can help others, please share it, subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up. Thank you all for watching.